What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mom Muser Whiskey Reviews. I'm Eric Balvenie, 15 year old single barrel sherry cask malt whiskey from the space side region. The Balvenie Distillery is what is on the bar for review today. I have a nose taste finish review of this coming momentarily. I'll tell you a bit about the value, share my final thoughts, give it a final score, leave you with the malt music. All right. Before we do that, take a second. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, it means a lot. We'll make sure you don't miss any of my reviews that drop, as well as keeping the note about any live streams, which I do periodically here on YouTube. Would love to see you there. Okay. Balvenie, a space side region distillery. Um, one of my favorite distilleries, I would say, all in all. Uh, what we're looking at here today um, is something a little different. Uh, most of their malts are usually kind of a bourbon sherry mix in a lot of cases. And their uh, their malt has a really nice kind of sweet cereal note to it that that's in honey kind of notes. I think that that really are known as defining kind of Balvenie's um, uh, flavor profile. So having one that is full sherry cask, it is always interesting to see how um, different cask maturations play uh, with the malts that define distilleries. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. It is that classic looking Balvenie bottle. Um, why don't we jump into the tail of the tape here? So as I mentioned, this is a single barrel. Um, oftentimes you see scotches called single casks. Uh, they went with single barrel on these, uh, which is more of a bourbon thing you see normally, but whatever. Um, it says here that uh, this is drawn from a single cast. No more than 800 are drawn from that. So of course, everything is gonna have its own bottle number and cast number. If you're keeping score at home, the cask on this is one, two, two, five, four, bottle number three. Two. Okay, what else does this have to say? Um, this whiskey is bottled at 47.8% ABV. That is great to see. It is non-chill filtered. It says so in all caps right here, as well as on the tube. Um, it does not mention anything about natural color. I would feel like they would probably not add any color to this. And I'm going to tell you why in just a second, because there's something you should know about Balvenie 15 uh, Sherry Cask. So, um, they do not mention anything on here about it. They do talk about how they do their uh, their uh, traditional floor maltings, one of the few distilleries that still does that, which is great. And I do want to just give a quick shout out to the packaging of this. I mean, if you look, there is just no shortage of information provided about barrel maturation, about their whiskey, cask notes, all of this kind of stuff. And as you go through it, which I did, um, it I still did not come across anything that mentioned uh, that this was a natural color or not. So I'm just taking one more look for you all and nothing is staying out to me. I'm going to assume that maybe they have added a little bit of color to this. But as I said, I want to talk to you about something about this before we get started that you should know. And of course, it makes me suspicious that they would add color. So take a look at how dark this is. This is a really, really dark um Sherry casket for specifically just 15 years old. And what that tells me is that there's very good chance that either A, they've added a bunch of color, or B, this is from a first filled sherry barrel. Okay. Um, here's what it looks like in the glass. That's a pretty dark whiskey. Now, I have went to the store and looked for other, uh, you know, looked for these to get more of them at times. And I have noticed sometimes when you pull the bottle out and take a look at it, it is lighter than this. So you find some that are kind of dark, some that are kind of light. Now, rumor has it is that some that's these um, fifteen-year-old sherry casks uh, are are either matured in um, a first fill barrel or a refill barrel. So you may be getting a refill cask in some of your um, uh, fifteen sherry cask whiskeys, which is one reason why you should always take a look at the bottle before you buy it. And if it doesn't quite look as dark as what I'm showing you right here you know, make your own best judgment on whether you should buy it. Um, but this is the reason why I think they may not be adding color because really, why would you not have it look the same always? And, um, you know, as I said, the rumor amongst a lot of Scotch uh, aficionados is that they, uh, some of these come from first fill and some come from refill. And of course, my preference would be uh, the first fill, which is what it looks like we have here now. So without further ado, let's get on into the nose here. We have Winston, the whiskey cat in the house. We will give him the first inaugural nosing. He is not impressed. He is never impressed. All right, here we go. On the nose. Dried, dried red fruit. Christmas in a glass. That is what you're getting here. You're getting those 
Christmas baking spices, the dried fruit, maybe hints of cranberry, a tartness to this. Um, some plum, dry, you know, like ripe plum, dry plum, dark red fruits. As you nose a little further, you do start to get a little bit of that honeyed sweetness that you really expect out of Balvenie if you've had some other stuff before. But really, I'd say the palette on this is one of, of sweet and spice. That's really what's standing out here. You're getting almost like um, grape, grape skins. Punchy, um, spicy, just a little bit of a kind of sweet creaminess to it. So all in all, a pretty, uh, a pretty nice nose. It's a bit on the, uh, like I said, a much more dry uh, dry fruit profile than um, sometimes you find on on some of these uh, sherry whiskeys at 15 years old or younger. So with that, let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really nice mouthfeel. It's pretty viscous. Maybe medium high viscosity. Um, pretty nice, um, rich, deep flavors to this. Getting a bit of oak cask now, a little bit of that kind of caramel char. There's hints of vanilla coming through, but again, dried red fruits. Um, a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon, just some touches of citric sweetness in here. Um, this is again, yeah, it's it's very fruit driven on the drier fruit side. Um, as it develops into the finish, it's, it's a little bit of a shorter development than I would expect, but I got a really nice kind of drying, dark cocoa, dried fruit, um, even hints of kind of honey and, and, um, I would even go so far as to say it comes like malted milk a little bit on this finish. It's almost even a tinge ashy is, which is quite interesting. Um, so maybe what's coming is a little bit of a sulfuric note in this, which you do find in sherry casks for some reason. Um, sometimes. All right, I'm going to do one more neat sip and let's put some water on this. Here we go. Put about four drops on. Again, this is 47.8% ABV, which is a pretty nice uh, ABV for a for a 15-year-old malt. Albany is usually quite good, especially here in the United States, with their uh, with their ABVs on most of their whiskeys. Okay, let's see what else we get here on this nose with the addition of water. Again, that dark grape, slightly tart red fruit. It's maybe sweetened up a little bit, pulled back a, a tad from the kind of um, the dry notes on this, but. That is still mostly the profile you're getting here. It smells kind of antique-like, like a little bit of an older whiskey. What do you think, Winston? You wanna try one more time? <laughs> nope. I'm getting a little more toffee notes in here. Maybe just a hint of that kind of cereal malt. All in all, about the same. Here we go. Pretty soft on the palate when it comes in, medium viscosity. Extending that a bit more with water. I think water is a good add here. Starting to get hints of sour notes. This is definitely getting a little bit more complex with the water. But really, I think the core of what this whiskey is is staying pretty constant all the way through here. Dried fruits, hints of toffee, caramel, uh, chocolate, the citric kind of bite, and the drying finish. Finish is shortened up a bit. I'd say this is still just about a medium finish. Hmm. Okay. So, Balvenie 15 single barrel. We've been on the market for quite some time. This is not an exclusive whiskey, and I would actually almost go so far as to say, outside of their, their double wood, this may be the easiest Balvenie to find on the shelves here in the United States. Um, if you do, first of all, as I mentioned, make sure you take that bottle out and take a look at it and see just how dark that whiskey looks and um, make your choices accordingly. 
However, you will find these now in 2023 at a price around $150, give or take. Um, here in Chicago, they're right around $150. I've seen them more in some places, a little bit less than others, but a pretty heavy price. Yes, you are getting a single cask, which of course brings variability. You're never quite sure it's going to be um, what it's going to be like, and they're always different, um, or some variation between the, between, uh, the batches. Um, and again, for a sherry malt in this price range, I mean, there are a lot on the market that I think will uh, fetch like, less price. Um, it does this thing stand up to $150? I think for the value score I'm going to put on this is I'm going to give this a medium value. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about, um, about that and and why that is the case here in final thoughts. So let's do it. Final thoughts. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Balbany is one of my favorite distilleries. Um, this, however, I would say is not necessarily one of my favorite releases of theirs, this bottling in specific. Um, as I said, these are single barrel. You could find sometimes older ones or you know, you'll get something a little better or whatever, you find a good batch here and there. But I just am not feeling like this is something I want to go out and buy again at $150. Um, there are a lot of nice sherry malts that I think it's, that would match up to this that you could get cheaper. Um, even some without an age statement, like in Aberlauer Abena. Um, it's just not quite uh, what I want it to be. Um, I, I think it's a well-crafted whiskey. Um, I'm glad that they continue to put out a sherry release like this. It's just unfortunate that that $150 price tag is pretty high on this one. Um, so all in all, um, not one of my favorite releases from Balbany. If you are a sherry head aficionado, yes, you will, you will want to try this at least once in your life. You may get lucky and find a very older bottling or perhaps find a really nice batch. Um, as it stands, uh, this is kind of a middle of the road one for me, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna score that accordingly with the price and consideration of what we're seeing here in 2023. I mean, this is a 3.25 out of five for me, um, a little bit above average, but just not something that I think is is a mandatory to have on your shelf. And and the price I think is what really does it. in. without that price, we'd be looking at more like a three five, maybe a little bit higher. But as it stands, um, three two five. If you're a Balvenie head, this is a whiskey you'll want to get for sure. Otherwise, um, you know, keep shopping and, uh, you know, check out some of the more affordable ones. I mean, even something like the younger uh, uh, Tamdu, for example, uh, would be a nice, nice uh, uh, a whiskey that could kind of compete with this. Uh, you're just going to find some stuff, I think, that will will get you almost what you're getting here, but at, at a much affordable price. And I mentioned the Abana as an example, even Glen going Castor to some degree. Um, so there's a few to check out. And uh, yeah, we're going to sit at 325 out of 5 here on the Balvenie 15. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, have you had this before? Where does it land for you? And with that, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this dram and kick you over to your malt music. See you next time here on Malt Music Whiskey Reviews. Sláinte